No, I wouldn't travel this time of year. It's uh, ridiculous. Getting to the airport, run the holidays. No, no. The whole airport now is about food. It's like more restaurants than anything else. They got more restaurants in my airport than they do at the mall. You, know, you want to get to your flight on time. You're trying to check stuff in. That, that's a problem. But, but getting a cheeseburger, get a cheeseburger at the airport, that's no problem. Steve Weiner from GetRubix.com here. And today we're going to take another look at LAPS and talk about the best way to add your own account, uh, your own admin account, something that we uh, we basically messed up last time. So let's get to that today. You ever run around the airport with a cheeseburger? Last time when we uh, went through Windows Laps up here in Intune, we used the default administrator account because we tried to rename it first and that didn't work out and we essentially uh, had some issues. So the, the best practice is to add a separate account since it won't be the well-known SID and the administrator that's, that's on the machines. Um, I'll show you real quick this. Here you go, users. This administrator account, the built-in one, we, we don't want to use that right um just because it's too well known so what's the best way to add our own account from intune we could use the account protection policy now the way the account protection policy works is you can come in here and create a policy and, and manually add a user um that tends to take a long time in some cases not all the time but sometimes so i'm going to show you a much better way to go about doing this so we're going to go to devices windows configuration profiles and we are going to create a new policy Windows 10 templates. We want a custom policy. Okay, we're gonna call this M365. We're gonna call this um, Lapse Account. Okay. So we're gonna use good old fashioned OMA URIs here. So we're gonna call this um, Rubik's Admin Account. Uh, wait, add local admin account the name will be rubix admin that's just for our description so and i'll, I'll put these in the I'll, I'll put a link to these in the chat below um these are my uris i'll type them out device vendor microsoft right that's pretty standard for these accounts is the node and we're going to do users and then right here you put you know your username and then password. So even though this is about setting the password, this is where you actually add the account. So we'll say uh, Rubix admin. Okay. And the actual field will be a string. You can put anything in here. You can put just password for now because we're going to change this because of the lapse policy. Okay. The second row we need is going to be actually now, now that we created that account, adding it to the admin group. So we're going to call this add local account to administrators group. And this will be the same beginning device vendor Microsoft counts node, but we're going to say users. We're going to specify the user again, Rubik's admin, and we're going to say local user group. And the value here is going to be an integer. That's two for local admins. Great, so we should have a string, right? That looks like that, and an integer. So this is this is what you should have here. Um, we'll hit next. Uh, mine's gonna assign to all devices, right? And we click save and let that deploy. Now, when that deploys, um, here, let's go to our demo machine. Uh, it'll take a few minutes to push out. It actually goes pretty quick. I already had it saved and pushing though. Uh, local user manager. Oh, wrong thing. So we want lusrmgr.msc. That's the local users and groups node. And we go to users and you can see it showed up here. Full name, Rubik's admin, name, Rubik's admin. And if we go to properties, we can see it's a member of administrators. Okay, so with that set, um, you should be fine to leave the default lapse policy. So if we go to endpoint security, account protection, I have Windows lapse policy. And um, if 
we go take a look at the configuration, it's specifying that new account now. So now that that lapse policy is set on this machine, if we go look it up in devices, Windows devices, we can look up the serial number. <clears throat> okay, and I should see it here. Click on local admin password. And there we go, last password rotation. So this was just recently. Show that password, you can see the name and I can actually get into it with that. Okay, another way you can look up the password is when you go to your entra.microsoft.com portal, you click on devices, all devices, and you'll see local administrator password recovery. You click there and um, you should see everything. So this guy didn't check in yet. This was the old one, it says administrator, but you can see the device we just looked at is checking in and it's changed to Rubik's admin. So same thing, you'll be able to see everything in a, in a list here and you get that password and you're you're good to go. Okay, the bottom line for today is make sure uh, you push the account first before applying the lapse password, unless you wanna to apply it to the default account, but your best practice is gonna be uh, to not do that. So hopefully that'll give you um, a real quick way to, to shoot that out. There is some built-in policy, you could script it, but um, the tried and true method of the OMA URIs works great. So until next time. One, two.